Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome animated portfolio in PowerPoint. So let's go! And before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Justyna, a talented graphic designer from Lithuania, for letting me showcase some of her works in today's tutorial. If you would need a logo, brand design or packaging design, then definitely contact Justyna. You will find her Instagram in the video description. And now let's continue with the video. And the inspiration for today's video come from this amazing work by FI Store. You can find this animation on dribble.com. And when I saw this beautiful animation, I thought it would be really fun to recreate it in PowerPoint. And this is what we're going to do today. So once again, the link is in the video description if you'd like to check it out. Alright my friends, to save some time, I have prepared a couple of things in advance. So let me show you around. First of all, we have a logo at the top left corner of the slide. Next we have a couple of lines. These guys will be our little uh, scrolling bar on the left side. Let me show you how they are formatted. So this first thicker line has a width of two points. And I have used uh, this shade of black, okay? And this thinner line has a line width of one point, and I have used uh, this shade of gray, all right? And now let's jump back to selection pane and let's see what else do we have on the slide. And here we have two grouped text boxes. As you can see, one is a slide title and one is a text box for smaller text. And for the slide title, I'm using font Baskerville with the font size 48, and for the smaller text, Baskerville as well, and font size 12, okay? And if we zoom in closely to any of these two text boxes, as you can see, we have a slight shadow around these text boxes. So let me show you what are the options for these shadows. And all I'm using is just a black color with a bunch of transparency and bunch of blur. So for the transparency, 90% and for the blur, 40 points. And here in the center of the slide, as you can see, we have a photo of beautiful mountains. And later on, we'll be changing these mountains with these beautiful works by Justina. Okay, so now it's just a placeholder so that we know where the photo should be. And we have a few more mysteriously called shapes in the selection pane, the top white bar and the bottom white bar. So let me just change the color of these guys so that you can see them better. And these two shapes are just simple rectangles that I have inserted and placed one at the top and one at the bottom. And let me open up my previous presentation and demonstrate to you why I have inserted these two rectangles, one at the top and one at the bottom. And as you can see, once we're scrolling to the next slide, the white bar at the top and the white bar at the bottom helps to cover the text boxes and the new photos. And this way we get a feeling of a website. So to create this kind of feeling, I was using these two bars. That's the whole secret. And now let's get back to our presentation and let me show you the last shape that you should know about. And this guy is called left bar white. And he sits on the left side, he's completely white. And as before, let me just open up my previous presentation and play the slide number two. And as you can see, this cover on the left side helps to cover the photo once the photo is scrolling in. That's a really beautiful animation effect and for that we're using this white bar on the left side. Alright my friends, now you know everything that there is to know about this slide. I think we have just skipped the icons, but we can do that later on. And now let's select this first beautiful work by Justina and hit Ctrl C to copy. Now let's right click on this picture of mountains, let's go to change picture and choose from clipboard. And this way we have easily replaced the pictures. And now for these text boxes I have prepared some text in the notes section. This text was provided by Justina, thank you very much. And now let me quickly update these two text boxes. Okay, it's always useful to keep any information that you might need later on in the notes section, that always helps. Okay, and now we're pretty much finished with the first slide. We can duplicate it. Just hit Ctrl D to duplicate or right click and choose duplicate. Okay, and on the second slide, it's really important to go to transitions and choose morph transition because morph transition will help us to do all of the animations. I'm using two seconds for the duration. Now let's jump back to the first slide. Let's zoom out a little bit. And now let's select all of these guys on the left side, except this white bar on the left side. Okay. And now let's just move all of these guys to the left side outside of the slide window, okay? And now let's jump back to slide number two and let's preview the morph transition. Let's see what kind of animations do we get. Let me just fit to window and let's click preview. And as you can see, all of these elements on the left side, they basically fly in into the slide. And all of that thanks to morph transition. 
Alright my friends, and next let me show you how we can animate this photo. So in the first slide, let's just select this photo, hold down the shift key, and let's just drag it outside of the slide window to the left side, just like that. And let's make sure that this picture is at the bottom of the selection list, just below this white bar on the left side, okay? And now on the second slide, let's hit preview to check out the morph transition. And as you can see now, all of these elements on the left side and this photo are being animated with the morph transition. Super duper awesome and easy peasy lemon squeezy at the same time. Alright, so now we can duplicate slide number two and on slide number three, let's change the picture and let's change the text boxes. So this time, let's use this beautiful photo of a label. So once again, let's right click on the picture and let's choose from clipboard. Okay. And as well, let me grab some text from the notes. And this time it's all about brand design. So let's paste in brand design. And here we have a little bit of text about this beautiful logo on the right side, Guikis. So let's insert that text as well. All right. So let's make sure that the transition is set to morph and let's give it a preview. And as you can see, currently we're just fading from one slide to another. And we would like to have that beautiful parallax scrolling animation. So let me show you how we can do that next. And before that, let me just update the names of uh, these two text boxes. Okay, let's give it a name, text 2. And for the picture, let's give it a name, picture 2. All right. And now let's select both of these guys, these two text boxes and this picture. Let's just hit Ctrl C to copy. Let's go to slide number 2 and let's paste these guys right here. Let's make sure that they are aligned with the first picture. And now let's just drag them downwards, just like that, just below the slide. Okay. And now in the selection pane, let's do a couple of necessary adjustments. Let's grab text number two and let's drag it below so that it sits on top of text, just like that. And for picture number two, let's do the same so that it sits on top of picture layer. Okay. Just like that. And now let's select this picture and these text boxes from the slide number two. Let's copy them and let's paste them into slide number three. Okay. Once again, let's make sure that the pictures are aligned just like that. And this time, let's move these two guys to the top just like that. Okay. And once again, in the selection pane, let's make sure that we bring the text just below text two and the picture just below picture two. Okay. So now everything sits in the correct order. And now let's give it a preview once again. This time, I think uh, the animation should look much more fun. And yes, now we're getting this beautiful scrolling animation. That's awesome. And next, let me show you how we can add a little bit of parallax flavor to this scrolling animation. And for that, let's go to slide number three. Let's select this Botany uh, picture and let's just drag it downwards a little bit. You can hold down the shift key to make it in a straight line, just like that. Okay, now let's give it a preview one more time. And this time, as you can see, we're getting this beautiful parallax scrolling animation. So basically, the background picture is moving at a slower speed than the picture in the foreground. And this way we're getting the parallax effect. Let's check it out once again on the full screen. Looking beautiful. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You're doing wonderful, my friends. Now let's make it even more fun and let's add a zoom effect to this second picture. And for that, let's go to slide number two. Let's select the second picture. Okay, let's go to picture format. Let's click on crop. Grab one of those white bubbles, hold down the control shift key and zoom in just like that. Click on crop again to apply the changes. That's good. All right. And now once we check out the presentation on the full screen, as you can see, we're getting this beautiful scrolling effect. And at the same time, the second picture is zooming in or zooming out in this case. That's looking beautiful. All right, my friends. And now let's create the last scene. And now we are working on slide number three. And now let's just select the picture in the middle, these text boxes in the middle, and let's hold down the control and shift key to create a duplicate. And let's drag these duplicates just below right here. Okay. And let me update some of the names in the selection pane so that we have text three and picture three. Okay. And now let me copy this third awesome work by Justina. This is a book cover. Let's just hit control C to copy. And now let's get back to this slide. Let's right click on this picture at the bottom and let's choose to replace from clipboard. Okay, and in the selection pane, let me drag text three next to text two and let's drag picture three next to the rest of the pictures, just like that. And as before, let me grab some text from my notes and update these text boxes for the last picture for the book cover. Okay. All right, and now let's duplicate slide number three. And on slide number four, let's zoom out a little bit. And now we can delete this uh, top text boxes and this picture. Okay. And for the rest of the pictures and for the rest of the text boxes, let's just uh, select all of these guys while holding down the shift key. 
and let's just drag them upwards so that this last picture is in the center of the slide, just like that, okay? And now we can select this second picture and let's just move it a little bit downwards so that we get the parallax effect that we want, okay? So currently this is how the animation looks like, that's good. And let's jump to slide number three. Let's uh, select the book cover. Let's go to crop options. And once again, let's just zoom in so that we get that uh, zoom effect for the book cover once it uh, comes in in the slide number four. Okay, so let's give it a preview. And as you can see now, the book scrolls in and it zooms out at the same time. That's awesome. And let's not forget about our little menu scrolling bar. So on the slide number three, let's move it to the middle. And on slide number four, let's just move it to the bottom of this uh, scrolling line, just like that. And the morph transition will do the rest of the magic. That's awesome. All right, so let's go to slide number one and let's check out everything from the start. So this is our slide number one. And now we go to slide number two. That's beautiful. Slide number three. And slide number four. Looking beautiful. All right, my friends. And as you can see here at the bottom, we have some social icons. You can find these social icons on freepick.com. Link is in the video description. And let's just add a link to one of these social icons, for example, Instagram. Let me check what is the Instagram address of Justina. Here it is. Let's just copy it. Control C. And now let's uh, select the Instagram icon. Let's hit Control K. And here let's make sure that we choose website and let's just paste in the address and click OK. All right. And it should work. Let's check it out on the full screen. And once you play the presentation, as you can see, this icon becomes clickable. And you can click it and you will jump to your desired address, in this case, uh, Justina's Instagram. That's awesome. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that was all for this tutorial. Congratulations, now you know how you can create an animated portfolio in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.